Be more queen, that's what I say. Did you know that the Queen keeps her Christmas tree up at Windsor Castle until the beginning of February in honour of her father who died on the 6th of February 1952, 70 years ago. So perhaps we ought to start off our Platinum Jubilee celebrations by keeping our trees up a little bit longer this year. Hello there, I'm Julie from Julie Davis Flower Workshops and Flower Start, the online flower arranging classes. Now that nugget of information was given to me by Clara, who's a member of my Facebook group. So I'll leave details of the group in the description box of this video if you'd like to come along for more flower arranging hints, tips and chat. Personally, my aim is to keep Christmas up until Twelfth Night, which is on the 6th of January, the date at which the three wise men were supposed to have visited the baby Jesus. The only exception to that for me is if school goes back before Twelfth Night, I don't really like the idea of all this festive jollity and then having to go back to school and come home to Christmas decorations. So um, much as I love Christmas, it does all disappear on the whole before school goes back. I say on the whole, I absolutely love Christmas and I don't really want it to disappear. So that's my question of the day is, when do you take down your decorations? I've heard that some people take them down on Boxing Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Let me know and let's have a chat. Having said, I like to have a clean start for the beginning of the school term. I do like to let my decorations fade in and then fade out. I don't like everything just to suddenly disappear. I think the house, although it always looks a bit bigger and a bit brighter, I do feel slightly bereft once the holiday season is over. So because my decorations haven't been full on Christmas, I like to have a more pared back look, a sort of Scandi inspired, not minimalist at all, but just hinting of the, the colour and the seasonality of the Christmas period. So you may remember you watching my videos, I did have lots of red vases, containers, teapots and mugs on my windowsill. And that's one of the first things I have done is to declutter some of that red. So what I like to do with my taking down of my decorations, it's although I work room by room, I do actually prefer working type by type. So I've actually gone around the house collecting all the little tea lights I've been using. I've got lots of little houses that illuminate up at night with a tea light. And as you know, if you are a tea light fan, the tea lights never burn totally. So what I do is I pop them out of their metal casing, put the metal casing in recycling, and then save the candle ends to um, make into candles another time in the year. So I have um, a big metal teapot for that and, and also a tin can as well because my metal teapot is getting too full now with candle odds and ends. And the other thing I do as well with the jar candles I've been gifted or have bought, um, they never burn right down to the bottom. So what I do there is to put them in a basin with some boiling water just to melt the outer edge of the candle. And then I take a teaspoon and just e ease out the bit of candle that isn't going to burn down and then wipe out the inside of the candle jar with a piece of kitchen roll. And then I've actually this year gifted those onto the charity shop because I've enjoyed them. But I don't think I'm going to use them again next year, but somebody could quite easily put a tea light in those and enjoy them next Christmas. The other thing I'm going to do is every year I say I'm, everything is going to be so much more organised. And part of my organisational problem at Christmas is that we have a really small loft hatch. I know precisely that it's 32 centimetres wide, although it is quite long at 87 centimetres. But I have great difficulty packing things into boxes and then not being able to get the box into the loft hatch. So I've ended up storing all my Christmas decorations in quite small cardboard boxes, shoe boxes and that kind of thing. And I'm forever going up and down the loft ladder to store the boxes in a big bag to keep them all together in the loft. So this year, I've been inspired by Sarah from Grace in Your Space. She has bought some storage caddies, some canvas fold down bags from Amazon. And I thought that's a really great idea. I'm going to try and do that this year. So I have uh, bought myself um, a long thin 
caddy box, storage box, that I know exactly fits in my loft hatch. And I'll leave a link to the, the bags I bought and also to Sarah's video underneath the, this video. So you can take a look if you're looking for something similar. Now I will say, top tip here, the red storage boxes were a little bit more expensive than the green and the grey. So I bought one green, one grey and saved myself about six pounds or so. And the boxes, um, they come flat packed and you just unwrap them and then you get a piece of um, cardboard to put around the edges and the bottom just to make it a sturdier box. And then there's a grid work of lots of cardboard pieces that interlock together um, and then a piece of card as well that separates your different layers. So my task this year is to sort everything out. So the plan is that I'll have layers in different colours. So rather than everything being jumbled into one big box, which I do always wrap my um, baubles up in tissue paper so they don't get damaged but I'm thinking I'll try and keep all the greens together all the silvers together I don't have a mini blue in fact I think I'm going to pass on some of my blue decorations and then the reds and the golds that my daughter favoured when she decorated the tree this year and putting away all my handcrafted and vintage finds as well now the great thing about the storage box I got it was extra wide so I'm going to probably have one side of it where I'm going to keep my baubles and then the other side not to put the cardboard grids in so I've got open storage so something for my large items for my reindeer for my um, bottle brush trees and that kind of thing so I'm going to start this job off in the loft because um, we didn't use all the de decorations and my loft is a total mess I have to go up in the loft and bring everything down individually and then go through it decide what I'm going to use and then put the surplus back in the loft I'm not going to use and then bring all the boxes downstairs at the end of Christmas to pack them up to put them all back in the loft upstairs so I'm just hoping with these big storage bags I'm going to be you know ahead of the game and it's not going to be such an arduous task so I've done the best I can but it could always be a little bit more perfect and I do take the opportunity of when I pack my decorations away just to go through things and think do I want to keep everything you know if I haven't used it for a couple of years perhaps it's time to pass it on so I actually have sort of three decluttering periods I declutter my decorations when I get them out of the loft the first time and then when I've put everything up I want to put up and I'm putting my boxes back in the loft I have another go through the boxes and think do I need to get rid of anything and then when I finally come and pack away at the end of the festive period I also go through and think do I actually want to keep all this so I have already got a box of things I'm going to donate to the charity shop which feels quite good and that's really my kickstart to spring cleaning for the new year one thing I have decided to do this year is to keep all my crockery my festive crockery downstairs I have got a growing collection of Christmas plates and on Christmas plates all very understated so they don't actually say Christmas but they've got lots of berries and greenery on them and I've been taking those up and down stair up and down the loft ladder over the past few years and they're quite heavy to push through that loft hatch so this year because I've tidied out the understairs cupboard I'm going to box up all my crockery as well as my red transfer wear and my Christmas mugs and put them within easy access but on a you know ground floor level so what I've done as you can see what I've done is I've started in the kitchen so as things have been washed up instead of putting back in the cupboards I have been boxing them up well first of all they lived on the kitchen table for a little while and then boxing them up to put away and then taking the opportunity to wash everything up all my red vases which are on my windowsill my lovely big red fruit bowl which actually is going to get donated to the charity shop because it's too big to use the fruit bowl I think actually it was probably a mixing bowl and just having a, a declutter and a tidy and I just find that that way I just instead of thinking today's the day I've got to take Christmas down I just do it slowly over a period of days and it may be that over a period of weeks and because my decorating for Christmas isn't full-on Christmas bling right in your face I can get away with having some bits that are left over from Christmas my main aim is to fade in and fade out so as the Christmas slowly arrived in my house it's just going to slowly disappear and I'll start bringing in more whites I have actually been um, thrifting things that are black and I'm wondering whether it's about blinging black in for the new year and thinking about my spring planted bulbs then taking center center place really my um, the narcissa I planted on the second day of vlogmas and if you haven't watched my vlogmas videos i'll leave a link to those in the show notes under the video as well so they are probably going to go over very quickly but my bowls of hyacinths are just 
just starting to develop so probably in a couple of weeks they'll be in full bloom as well and um, normally what I do is when my bulbs have gone over I plant them in the garden and I might even dig some out up from last year and bring those back indoors or I may well just go to the garden centre and buy myself some new indoor flowering bulbs and plant them up into some of the containers I've thrifted throughout the year. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. A little catch up about how I do things. So it's candles for me and getting rid of all my redware and my Christmas plates and putting those away. And then just trying to be ultra, ultra organised. And I've got high hopes that these storage boxes are going to be the perfect solution that I've been looking for. I'd love to know what your favourite packing away solutions are for your Christmas decorations and when you take your decorations down. So have you got a, a sparkling clean house for January already? Or are you about me? And just sort of slow decorating in reverse. That's all for me for now and I'll see you again next time. Oh don't forget, do like the video and leave me a comment. Don't forget to share it with your friends. It really helps my YouTube channel to grow.